Hi guys, Pepper Brown here once again. And uh, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a blog today. The, uh, the whole world is on lockdown. Everybody's being shut down, all the businesses are shut down. So obviously um, I'm doing a lot more lessons online now. In fact, all of them are online now. I don't have anybody uh, coming in to do one-on-one -on -one lessons anymore as a precaution. Um, so what I'd like to do is just show you basically the routine of practicing, right? The routine of practicing is something that you can get into. I, I, I assume that a lot of you guys have a lot more free time. So the first thing we do always, we're just doing this. I like to do this as a warm up, you know, just sit here and do this. And of course I'm doing scalpel picking here. Not the wrist. Everybody can use the wrist already. You guys are already born with the ability to move your wrist back and forth. But what happens is when you do that, you lock your thumb. So everybody does that. So this is the way I play, and this is the way I teach. This is the thumb, first finger, the alternate. Uh, scalpel picking. How Robert's called scalpel picking. Kenny Burrell, all these little jazz guys. So we're doing scalpel picking. Okay, so that's the number one thing. You sit down, you get your tea or your coffee. <clears throat> and just warm up with this, you know. Next string. This is a really good warm up. You just do this, you know? Okay, so now part of the online lessons that I do is that uh, the reason why it works is because I do these interactive things, okay? So what I do is I get my metronome here. And I think this is called Pro Metronome. I like it quite a bit. And uh, what you want to do is you want to condition yourself to get, be playing in time all the time. So uh, we got let's let's do our tempo. We'll do, uh, we'll do, let's do a tempo at, at uh, 60. So it's a 60, so here's what it sounds like. Now, I hope you can hear that. It's just about a foot away from the microphone there. So that's the tempo. And beat one has a different tone than the rest. Three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we just start with quarter notes like this. Three, four. Should be fairly easy. Okay, so that's quarter notes now. Next one, eighth notes, which is two per beat. So it's gonna be one and two and three and four and like that. Okay, so now here's the interaction. You guys do it with me in real time right now. One and two and ready and go and.
Okay, that's one minute. Let's just cap it at one minute there. That's one minute at 60. So that's doing eighth notes, right? Now you could go in two different directions here. You could increase the subdivisions. What do I mean by that? Go from quarter notes, eighth notes to triplets. So you got one note per beat, two notes per beat, three notes per beat, and what's after three? Four notes per beat. What's after four? Five notes per beat. Now the brave can go into six notes and seven notes, eight notes, nine notes per beat. Those are subdivisions. Or you can go the other direction and do eighth notes and then just increase the tempo with a metronome. Okay, so let's start by doing the subdivisions, okay? So the subdivisions, we did one note per beat. It's a boring as hell exercise, right? Right, man, that's boring. Okay, that's what Dick Grove would say. He had a famous quote. Hey, man, those are the wrong chords, man. Right, man, those are the wrong chords. All right, two notes for beat. Okay, now three notes for beat would be evenly spaced triplets. Triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple. Uh. Okay, let's practice along. Do it with me. Interaction, right? This is why my lessons work. This is why people subscribe, is because they get these drills. In, in the videos, when you, when you pay to be uh, a student and you subscribe and you go online, you subscribe, you get all these videos with all these drills in them at different tempos. So you can just turn the video on when you get home from work or get home from school and just work along with it. That's why it's designed. That's why it works is because you got you to gotta interact with it, okay? You can just sit there and watch, you know? I have all these college kids who are, I teach and we do these elaborate lectures and they don't even take notes. They just sit there. I go, take notes, guys. You know, you got to write it down, you know. And then the same thing for you guys. Don't just sit there like this, you know. Interact, interact, interact. Triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple. Now, let me insert. So many guys will do this. That's a downstroke on each beginning of each triplet. That's not correct. You want to go down, up, down, and then the next one's going to be up, down, up. So it's going to be down, up, 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 down, up. And it's not down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So many guys do that, and I have to correct them and correct them over and over and over and over again. Get it in your head. It's not down, up, down, down, up, down, down. It's not that. Don't do that. Do strict triplets at down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So ready? You guys ready? One, two, triple, uh, triple. Uh. Okay, that was three per beat. So math wizards, what's after three? Four. Shouldn't pause so long before you say that. Four notes per beat. So that's. 
Now, the tried and true common thing that musicians always do is they use the syllables one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a when you're using what are called sixteenth notes here. So it sounds like this one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Okay, let's try it. Interactive. Do it with me. Don't just stare and watch. Get out your guitar and do this with me. Okay, this is how you get better. Ready? One. One, two, three, four. two minutes right there how'd you guys do with that were you able to keep up no do it again let's do it again <laughs> ready one two three four one minute there okay so now after four we're gonna do five notes per beat okay so five is gonna sound like this one two three four five 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 One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, so if you guys can't feel five, that's because you've lived sheltered lives and you grew up listening to four, four music your whole life. Uh, there's a whole world of music out there that has odd time signatures. 
And back in my day in the 60s and 70s, it was like a badge of honor to be able to play in five and seven and nine and 11, all those odd time signatures. That was a mark of elite musicianship. So you guys aren't exposed to fives and seven that much anymore. And back in jazz, the jazz era, uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, fives and sevens were common. Stravinsky used odd time signatures. So we're going to try it. You guys ready for this? One, two, three, four, five. 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 Ready? One, two, practice all along. <laughs> So that's two minutes there. So that's five against one. Okay, so after five, we do six. And that's two triplets. Triple a 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 triple a. Okay, let's try that one. That should be easier for you. You might be more used to hearing that. One, two, three, four. Was two minutes okay so now let's do it again I want to practice right do it again <laughs> ready practice along play along with this metronome ready one same thing six against one one two practice along
that's two minutes. Okay, I take the pick in the other hand and shake it off, you know. Get it loosened up, the wrist loosened up. Do some circular wrist motion. Keep those tendons loosened up. Pump the hand. All right, so your hand should go pretty zingy now. It should be. All right, so now, that was six, okay? Um, I'm gonna hold it off at six because I think you guys got a lot of work to do to get five down. And six is the next increment over that. <clears throat> then after that, we gotta do seven. Let's do seven another time. Okay, so now that's at 60, right? So you can, you can do all these exercises in subdivisions, right? Over 60 on the metronome. And I have a lot of students who are sending me videos back of them doing the subdivisions. And what happens is <clears throat> when you start to get into subdivisions is that everybody's timing it drifts all over the place badly. Everybody's bad at timing, just awful, horrible people with timing problems. They don't even know it. So here's the cure, here's the fix, right? You gotta get one of these apps. I'm using Pro Metronome. I don't remember if it was free or not. You gotta just do quarter notes because that's the most important time. So here's quarter notes, right? We just do quarter notes. Okay, so quarter notes at 60. If we're doing eighth notes at 60, that's the same as doing quarter notes at 120, right? Think about it. Eighth notes at 60, that's two per beat. That's the same as doing quarter notes at 120. So let's gas it up to 120. That was a term from the 70s, gas it up. So now, quarter notes. Do you want to do that? Okay. Now, what if we're doing triplets at 60? Triplets at 60 is what? What's 60 times three, math wizards? We're going to do quarter notes at 180. It's a three note subdivision. So we're going triple, 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 triple. After triplets, 16th notes, four notes per beat. What's 60 times four? So quarter notes at 240. That's the same as doing 16th notes at 60. So, but you're, it will lock your timing in more solid because you're hearing that quarter note. All you guys who are playing subdivisions who drift all over the place, bring it in on quarter notes, you hear that metronome, and turn that metronome up loud so it slams your eardrum so you can feel that beat, okay? So, there we go, quarter notes at 240. for a minute. Quarter notes at 240. Ready? One, two, ready, play.
last two minutes. Okay, so that's the same thing as doing 16th notes at uh, 60, right? Okay, so all you shredding metalhead guys who are making all these boasting claims about how fast you can pick, um, whatever, you know, I mean, people that are good musicians can play in multiple time signatures multiple subdivisions not just 16th notes so uh, that's not a mark of honors to be able to play 32nd notes at 120 because those are evenly spaced notes if you guys want to play that fast use this technique with the metronome uh, 16th notes at 240 now if you want to play 32nd notes at 60 here's 60 30 second notes would be eight notes for beat, right? So to get that perfect and solid and sharp and precision tight, what are we gonna do? We gotta convert it to quarter notes. So 30 second notes at 60, would be quarter notes at 480. So you gotta use one of these apps. These, these regular metronomes don't go up to 480. So these go to 480. Now we're talking, huh? This calls for a swig of some caffeine. Now you could practice 30 second notes at 60. One, two, three, four. Okay, ready to do it? Do it with me, practice along. One, two, practice along. That's how you lock in your timing from drifting all over the place is you've got to treat everything as quarter notes and you speed up the metronome according to what ratio you want to do, right? So if you're doing triplets, you got to calculate the triplets into the metronome. All right, so that's, that's our right hand exercise is warm up, huh? That was only what, 30 minute warm up? Should be nothing for you guys if you want to be professional musicians. Okay. So now we'll do our left hand stuff. Do the form, right? On all the strings, right?
I'm on the A string now. And now on the low E string, right? Okay, so that's the form, right? Now, we want to do the spider. We got this one, right? This, the Vulcan spider, right? And then the centipede spider, right? So we're going. Okay, so after you do those, uh, we can go with the, doing the ladder. Okay, the ladder is just climbing up a ladder, right? So we're just doing this, right? Let's take it from the sixth fret or fifth fret, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go every other string. Mm -hmm. Come back down. Okay, so let's go back to sixty. Do eighth notes one and two and three and four and on the ladder so we're going okay ready one do it along with me interactive remember these are how my lessons work the videos you get the videos and you get these interactive drills Shit loads of them. S H I T loads of exercises. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the ladder at 60 eighth notes. One, play along. One, two, three, and four, and. one and two that's at eighth notes at 60 now now let's let's take a, let's throw off our white belts and put on our yellow belts guys okay and girls okay so we want to go now with the ladder let's do triplets triplets with the ladder so that's a two finger pattern how are we going to do triplets the timing Triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, triple, uh, should sound like this. Ready, go. <laughs> Ready, two, three, four. Thank you. 
okay, good. So after triplets, four notes per beat, right? So we're doing 16th notes at 60, right? Okay, so now 16th notes at 60 is what? Quarter notes at what? Quarter notes at 240, right? So 16th notes at 60 is quarter notes at 240. So now I want you to set your metronomes to 240, or please set your metronomes to 240, or fuck you, set your metronomes to 240. Love you guys. 240. Okay, here we go. Wow, we're gonna do a ladder now, huh? You guys do that with your eyebrows? Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, play. speedboats out there in the parking lot. My, sh my studio is in a very noisy industrial park. During the day, it's just a madhouse. There's a Harley Davidson shop, a dozen mechanics, racing speedboats, racing motorcycles. All these guys are all around here. But they're all out of here by five o'clock. So we record here at night and weekends here, it's empty, there's nobody here. So during the day, during the week, it's loud out there. But we're all on quarantine coronavirus lockdown, so I'm here. Uh, you know, I go home at night, but I mean, all day I'm gonna be here. And I've got a lot of other stuff to do besides this. So giving you guys the benefit of this forced government lockdown. All right, so that's the ladder with these two fingers, right? Well, I know one of these is your favorite finger, right? I know that. I know you guys. Yeah. All right, so then we want to do one and three. Ooh, almost made it there. So one and three, those are naturally strong fingers, right? <laughs> I don't really think that you should probably have to practice that as much as the other fingers because this finger's like always the strongest one when you're playing guitar for most people. But one and four, that's where we want to get that pinky going. So most guys, their pinky barely works. You got to strengthen it up by doing these exercises. So let's go back to 60.
Let's do one and four. All right. One and four. One and four. Yeah, you guys. Everybody do it with me. All right. One and four. Let's do eighth notes. Quarter notes, man, that's, you have to force yourself. That's a little boring, huh? You got to go. So it's really boring unless you completely, totally suck and you can't do it any faster than that. That's okay. Got to start somewhere, man. So let's do eighth notes. One, two, and three, and four, and. That sounds like. You got a fucking drag racer out there. My God. You guys are fucking maniacs man, out there. Jesus Christ. Mean vehicles they got out there. California. Industrial Park. Fucking crazy motherfuckers, man. Pirates, all of them. Okay, here we go. Triplets. One, two, triple, uh, triple, uh. <laughs> be a guy directly across from me that used to make racing airplanes good lord when those things fired up man it was like it's like world war three you could hear it no nope, nobody could con continue on what they were doing no matter what if you're on the phone it was impossible to talk you had to just call people back you guys booting up their racing airplane engines and testing them out eventually the city got on their case because the residents were complaining up to about two or three miles away the residents were complaining about the racing airplane shop that was firing up their engines and uh so they had to the landlord eventually told them to move but anyway here we go we got the triplets again one and four triplets ready one two play along triple uh triple uh <laughs> Triplets, 
Now, 16th notes, right? 16th notes. So let's try it. One, two, ready, play. problems doing uh, 16th notes at 60 what is that that's 240 right quarter notes at 240 so we push it up to 240 do quarter notes at 240 do it for one minute one two ready play the ladder so we got one and two one and three one and four now the other fingers we got the super finger two and three one three and four so you get all those available for the left hand just the ladder okay we did the spider the ladder uh, we did the chromatic form and now let's do our chromatic movement exercises okay the first one uh, the permutations are one two three four one two four three one three two four one three four two one four two three one four three two those are starting with one okay so we're just going to do those today or just a couple of them two of them two the first two you got to go through all these on your own okay uh the permutations two through five is available on my website under lesson pdf mp3 files i love you guys okay here we go the chromatic movement exercise. Now, what's a good tempo for that? Ooh, 240, quarter notes at 240. 
Let's do it. One, two, one, two, three, and four, and. able to keep up with that could you do the whole thing okay so that's one two three four first permutation and we just did the movement up and down each string okay so now let's do the same thing we got it at 240 on the quarter notes at 240 is 16th notes at 60 right so the same thing now let's do it across like this along interactive right one two three four Thank you. 
good. Now, that's doing 240, uh, quarter notes at 240, which is the same as 16th notes at 60, right? So the next timing that people like is 80. 80 in the metronome is a good tempo. So 80, a lot of slow songs are in 80. Pop songs are in 80. So 80 is like that. That's a common tempo for a lot of millions of songs. So 16 tones is going to be. But now we're going to, we're trying to increase our accuracy. So we're not going to play 16th, 16th notes at 80. We're going to play quarter notes at what tempo? 80 times four. 320. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's do that same exercise. See if you guys can keep up with this simple ass exercise using four fingers. These are simple exercises. See if you can keep up with these. You know, see if you could do on your own. See if you can do more than one round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds of the same exercise will get your technique going. Trust me, I'm serious, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. Across. Do it with me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> prematurely you guys got a lot of work to do it was only one round man you know we should do these for hours okay so that's a 320 another tempo people like is a hundred okay a hundred is very common a hundred is the same as 400 at quarter notes 400 on the metronome quarter notes. Let's do it again. Ready? Play along. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> 
guys could that's the goal you want to that's where you want to get to though you want to get to where you can keep up with that stuff and do more than one round do two rounds three up to 10 rounds 20 rounds i don't know you gotta you know a lack of effort will produce a lack of results if you guys don't put out the effort you won't get any results same with the files on my website if you can't make out the effort you can't put out the effort to find the files you're on your own man i'm not going to help you find the files i'm not going to hold your hand and give you a lollipop you know, I put them up there for free, man. Just deal with it, all right? So that's a basic warm-up. I mean, we got partially warmed up. How long have we been going? Maybe about an hour. Okay, so your hands should be somewhat zingy now. Now you can start working on your repertoire, scales, whatever you want to do, chromatic scales, whole tone scales. There's a ton more stuff to do, man. I used to do this all day long, man. I started early in the morning, 9 o'clock. Early, that's early for me, 9 o'clock. And then go till one or two in the afternoon and then go down and teach guitar lessons all afternoon until seven or eight o'clock and go to a band practice from like, you know, eight o'clock at night until midnight, you know, and did that a lot, man, back in the day, seventies, uh, eighties, all that kind of stuff. And then in the eighties, I, uh, I had more of a, a urgent desire to collect money. So I started getting day jobs and stuff like that. And I cut into my practice time a whole lot, but I had these day jobs, but I still, after work, I would teach guitar lessons. And then after that, I would practice at night, you know? And I still did bar gigs and stuff here, gigs here and there, you know, a lot of gigs in the eighties, playing in bars, same in the nineties, you know, but mostly the day job. And then in the nineties, I started going back to school to get my degrees, you know, and I finished up a bunch of degrees. And, uh you know i'm now on the tail end the very tail end of getting my doctorate degree right now so i have to do that all the time now that's a very very heavy responsibility is getting all that done and accurate and everything for the intense people at the claremont graduate university so here we go this is just today's blog on practicing routine warm-up practicing with a metronome what do we want to call this today warm-up practicing routine with timing Warm up practicing routine with timing. That's what we'll call it. Okay, so again, this is my pitch. Take online lessons from me. Uh, you got to have a webcam and it has to have audio. And you got to, in your room that you're doing it in, you have some lighting going on so you can see what's going on. Don't be in a dark room like all these kids do. And then have an amp that works, that doesn't short out, an amp cord, an amp AC cord. All these things are necessary. You'd be surprised. Or if you don't have an amp, get an acoustic guitar 
as close to the webcam as you can because these webcams don't pick up audio very well. You know, so you got to make sure that you have enough volume to feed into the webcam. Webcams are, the mics on webcams are really designed for talking, for like podcasts and stuff, not for picking up guitars and acoustic guitars. So you got to work around it as much as you can. So take online lessons from me, you know, I mean, real time, I use Zoom instead of Skype now, doing lots of those now, doing teaching classes online. Also on my website, you can subscribe to monthly pre-recorded lessons where we have all these lessons laid out step-by-step -step format all the pdfs are laid out you download the lessons download the pdf files and if you want to critique you make a video of yourself doing it and upload it to me or upload it to the forum on my website where 200 other guys will critique it 50 other people who some of them are like 12 or 13 of these guys are really good teachers themselves so they'll look at your videos and critique it then i'll jump in and critique it so you get a ton of critique as an added bonus from all these guys that are going to log into the website and look at your, your video that you're going to put post up there. And the next thing is when you guys send me videos, don't mark them private. That doesn't work ever. I can never see them. And just mark them unlisted. If you're that paranoid of everybody seeing it, just mark it unlisted and then send us the link to the unlisted video. Uh, or you can mark them public. That's fine, you know. Um, but don't mark them private. That's no good. Do not do that ever. I will reject videos that are marked private. First of all, I can't even get in there 99% of the time to see them. So those are off the table anyway. So don't mark them private. All right. So this is Pepper Brown. And this is today's little practice routine. Warm-up practice routine with time. What did we say? Practice warm-up warm up practice routine with timing. I'll figure it out as soon as I get my brain working. Oh, wait, here's a solution for that. There's a good, there's a good, there's a good photo.